resume up here. Resume my life. Oh, <laughs> we have to have one to start with. <laughs> oh. That's my hip. Sounds like you have arthritis. <laughs> That's what arthritis sounds like. <laughs> I can't tell you how many like guitar plays I've heard with arthritis and they're playing wonderful, but it's just kind of ruined by hearing the rest come. <laughs> Turn off the sound effects, so we're just gonna have the atmospheric music. This is probably the, not the best gun to use for this, but that's alright. Dude, milk them. I found out that men can lactate. I think you told me that. Apparently men can go through manopause too. Oh. <laughs> Remember if we saw yeah, that? The, the, they, they... Oh yeah, manopause. But they have a... Like, hormonal cycles. Pretty much man periods. Hmm. Um. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I found out that... So we have mammary glands. Uh-huh. But we just don't produce the um, hormones, or at least not enough hormones, to uh, lactate. Uh -huh. Apparently, after World War II, when all those people were released from the concentration camps in our uh, Japanese internment camps or whatever, uh -huh. um, there was like a thousand something reports of men lactating. Uh -huh. So apparently, what happens is, uh, so. Like, when you're malnourished, not eating enough, uh, your body, your pituitary glands stop producing hormones as much, mm -hmm. because it doesn't have enough fuel for that, but your liver also stops breaking them down as fast. Mm -hmm. It just stops breaking them down, and uh, so when you get food back, your pituitary gland starts up faster than your liver does, mm -hmm. so you're, you have a... You coming? Let's go. So then you end up. Let's go. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. I'll go by myself. I pre damage now. Oh, crap. Say, I'm one of you. I just hit my friend on the head. Here's human blood on my axe. I like the guy just fell off. Um, but yeah, so you're, you have an influx of hormones and. So you like to. Thank you for that yeah. medical and, talk. Um, in 2000, like two or something, there was a man from, I think, like Sri Lanka, like a 30 year old man, mm -hmm. who nursed his two daughters out oh. of infancy. Oh. Because um, their mother died in a car crash. Uh huh. So um, it's also thought that extreme stress can cause us to do that too. It's like, oh, it's just one of those things where the need arrives, I guess. So it's cool to know that uh, we can step up. Mm. And that's something that we can do that women can do better than us. Cool. <laughs> Typically. Why are these doors not opening? What is going on? Is it because of you? No. <laughs> Come here. I hold the key to the door. He said it's locked to my living DNA. Ow, 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 ow. There Looks like go. you're like just raiding him up. Just a toy. Oh, I know he still has an arm. I didn't realize that. <laughs> That's no good. That's right, I can't have arms. There we go. That's my perfect lady. I'm just gonna drop him. Yeah. No, he still has an arm! Failed! <laughs> I didn't even realize that I was the best one in ammo either. I saw that I only had 29 left. Okay, I think I need to go make the door beep. Push the button. Whoa! Ah! Ah! You clapped footed child! You got hurt again jumping off the tank? Yeah, that's right. My <laughs> very delicate legs. <laughs> Please don't, I have delicate legs. Blast his face off. I'm trying! He won't hold still! Make it like that Nicolas Cage John Travolta movie. What Nicolas Cage John Travolta movie? Face off. I don't think I've ever seen that. They switch faces. That sounds like a winner. I liked it when I was little. Yeah? I haven't watched it since Arizona. <laughs> it's just, uh, I think Nicolas Cage's character was a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, his first character. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, 
gonna infiltrate them, so they use this new technique and they swapped faces. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> so they start off playing one character, and then they turn into the other person's character. <laughs> pretending. Okay. And one of them is pretending to be the other one's character. <laughs> but it's just like an awesome movie. Huh? My ammo supply is quite limited. But I like how I hit the big guy, but not the other guys. Yeah. There's a line in it that goes, I want to take his face oh, hatched off. To death. You've been hatched to death, biatch. And I also remember a line with Nicolas Cage's character, um, uh-huh. where um, he's like, says something like, suck on my tongue. And it's like, gross. <laughs> Like, there was inappropriate stuff in that. <laughs> I did not like it as a child. Well, I wouldn't like that. So, the other... Ah! Ceiling people! I missed. It's one of my nightmares. I have a recurring nightmare where I'm walking in our living room and then people just crash through the ceiling and attack me. It's like, you don't have a glass ceiling. Hey, just because I'm not a woman doesn't mean I don't have a glass ceiling. Right. I don't know if I'd want a glass ceiling. I wouldn't. I'd be afraid of it leaking. I'd be afraid of thunder blasting through it. Thunder blasting through it? Yeah, and then people with guns attacking me. That'd be pretty cool. I don't think so. The thunder blasting through it part would be... I don't think so. Remember when we had Imagine that... the mess. That, uh, that, like, crazy thunderstorm in, um, uh, like, sophomore year of high school or something? Like, th- that thunder shook my house. That's what I remember about it. I don't remember that. And then I remember because some kid was like, oh, I have a ghetto house and it shook my house. And I was like, oh, it shook mine too, but I didn't actually say that because I'm not trash like he was. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that was that was kind of scary. Actually, cats were freaking out. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I hate, I hate lightning and thunder. Like, it's I funny. Like thunder. Because, yeah, it seems like people are excited for it to happen here. And I grew up in Arizona where that happens all the time. Oh, like, if you're getting rain, it's probably accompanied by thunder, yeah. Because it happens in higher temperature areas. Because hmm. the molecules move faster and they rub against each other, changing electrons and such or something. Hmm. Um, that's That one's part of Naruto, where Sasuke's fighting Itachi and blasts the fireballs into the sky. Yeah. Spoiler. Big spoiler. Um, <laughs> Sasuke fights Itachi. <laughs> She's not that big spoiler. I'm not going further into it. But um, he, he was like heating up the sky. That's why. Um, so yeah, I had them all the time in Arizona, and they hardly happen up here. But I, they always freak me out. I'm always afraid of like, being by a window and a lightning bolt coming in and killing me. <laughs> I think it would kill Or you. worse yet. Hitting me and knocking me the powers of the Flash. So the Flash got his power? Oh, yeah. I forgot. And my chemicals around me. <laughs> I should always be around chemicals during a lightning storm. <laughs> um. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I'm, like, kind of not into this right now. Like, I'm trying to think of another game we can play. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting pretty burnt out on this one. Yeah. And there's still a lot left, too. That's the problem. Oh. <laughs> there's still, like, five more chapters. Look at all this loot. What are you doing for Christmas, Isaac? I'm yeah, pulling my skin back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's gonna be down, so... Oh, yeah? Probably giving him a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> is he still dating that one girl that he yeah. put hot chocolate in a plastic cup? Yeah, he actually is. We found out. Is he going to propose this Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's a long distance proposal. <laughs> then again, I guess that's how my dad did it. He was in California talking to my mom on the phone and he's like, you know, I think I want to get married. <laughs> and what'd she say? She like, um, you're in California? Uh, 
I don't remember the whole story. It was just like, I miss you, and not just you, I miss the kids. Doc, hit! Hit you, N-word. Because at that point, oh my, God. my sister was born. Um, she has a different dad. And, uh, my brother There's was another born. There's another one? Yeah. Uh, my mom was married once before my dad. Oh. And the funny thing is, so he's a Jehovah Witness, mm -hmm. and they think that you can't get divorced unless the man approves of it. Uh-huh. Um, so, <laughs> so, according to him, my mom and him should still be married uh -huh. these, like, 30-something years later. <laughs> oh, he fell and died. <laughs> he exploded. What a bitch. What a weenie. He fell down and died. <laughs> Um, but here's the really stupid part. So, they both signed papers, so he did agree, mm -hmm. and it's just pretty much all, like, I want to get back together now. But it's like, okay, so with the Bible, one of the things it says with divorce is, you can get divorced mm -hmm. if one of you commits adultery. Mm -hmm. My mom's been married to another man for 20-something <laughs> years now and had two children with him. <laughs> I think it's over. And he remarried too, but she left him because she was in the program too and divorced her husband before. And he's like, well, so they got back together because he wanted to. And that's the religion. I'm confused. So it's like, you remarried also. I'm sorry that she left you because it's like, well, I was married to him first and according to religion or what the organization says, I should go back. <laughs> that's when he had his mental breakdown. Where is he now? He's in Helena, Montana. I thought you were going to be like, he's in Bangladesh. <laughs> he's in Bangladesh, <laughs> eating flesh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sewer crawler. He finds small children and nibbles on their ankle skin. So he's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is it. I want to see it too. I forgot that was out. That's like one of the few horror movies that attracted me. First one was pretty good. Well, okay, which first one are we talking about? Are we talking about the original? Because I did not enjoy that. I was very confused. Uh, the, 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 the new one. first one was pretty good. I really like the new first one. I want to see the new one. Uh, clowns with special effects and one of my fetishes. <laughs> Why is Sarah Mini Gunner? Why? Is he found one? And also, why did he come so late? Was he, like, taking a piss? And he's like, oh, oh he went by. Imagine that in war. I lucked out because I had diarrhea that day. So one time I felt myself lucky I had diarrhea. I would have died. I wonder how many people... <laughs> I think it would be funny if there's, like, enemy soldiers invading a base. Uh -huh. And they go in the bathroom and they hear, like, the enemy, like, oh, And they're like, uh... they just <laughs> decide not to kill him because they're taking a dump. And they're grossed <laughs> out. <laughs> they, they seen their like friend's face blown off and they're too grossed out by somebody taking a dump <laughs> I'll never forget the sound of it plopping in the toilet <laughs> it wakes up in a cold sweat at night oh. uh, <laughs> you and your minigun need to beat it yeah that's right what was I talking about before my mother divorced. Oh, Jehovah. Oh yeah, your brother and the girl. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Stop yeah. shooting me. So the world my dad grew up in was so after he got my mom pregnant with Anthony, he's like, "Well, I, I'm gonna marry you because that's the right thing to do." And she's like, "No, <laughs> I'm not gonna say yes if you do that." Mm -hmm. I want you to marry me because you want to marry me. Mm -hmm. I've already been in a marriage that failed because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And so. I've so been in a marriage that failed too. Marriage failed for different reasons. Is that shadow there? Yeah, it did. That, that oh, happens. it's like Hiroshima. That happens in. What? It's like Hiroshima. How is that like Hiroshima? When the nuke happened, people's shadows were burnt to the ground. That's that's pretty intense. This is just a poorly designed game, so that happens every now and then. It's a nuclear world. That's why there's lizard people. That or, well, the truth came out. 
Okay, I'm assuming I just have to turn that on. I'm too scared to fall. I'm afraid it's going to take away, like, half of my health. <laughs> and our stupid thing is, uh... So, according to my sister's dad, mm -hmm. um... She's going to be, um, doomed because of their divorce. Uh-huh. And also, the witnesses around him told him that he should not talk to her, just cut her out of his life. Oh, this part's and it's like, it's really? Gorgeous. Wow, how could he be a part of an organization that's like, oh, you can't talk to your daughter because you got divorced. Sounds like a and cult. It is cult-like. They, they excommunicate you, too, if you, like, do something. Hmm. But they say they don't, but it's like, well, whatever. Proof's in the pudding. In the pudding. What is that? It's a button. Ah! Get away, flamethrower, face boy. Flamethrower, <laughs> face boy. I was gonna say something more colorful. But, <laughs> yeah, that's what came out. <laughs> I like it. Face boy! No, oh, he's right! <laughs> <laughs> He got me. <laughs> There's like 12 mini gutters here. It's not good. But it's like, okay, so you, you believe in the Bible, which says the sins of the father is not the sins of the son. So how is she ruined because the parents got divorced? She had no say in that. <laughs> how insane do you think God is? Well, he didn't invent the black person. <laughs> uh, no, that happened when Cain killed Abel. <laughs> That's what I've heard about Mormons. <laughs> Apparently, they think black people were made when King killed Abel. <laughs> so the way that phrase makes me think like King's over Abel's dead body after like holding the bloody stone, and he just got done bashing his head in, and then a black man just comes out of the bush like, "Hey, what's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> the physical act of murdering created. There was like oh. a friction of the violence. But what I think was probably happened is Cain got a mark. And so I think they're probably thinking that the mark was becoming black. And that's why black people are violent, I guess, or something. I don't know. I can't, I can't move. The level's over, though. It's okay, I win. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was scary for a minute there. Perilous skies. Oh, this part's fun. You need to go across some, uh, what is that called? Gondolas. Gondolas? In the sky. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, oh, yeah. That's a good pop. I'll give you a good pop. Thank you. I've been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen lately. Why? Something to watch. <laughs> I also wonder how many people thought about um, black people being like Esau's children. Because it's like, oh, your kids will be slaves to Jacob's descendants. Hey, look, I have all my guns back. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know why they disappeared. Apparently I dropped them off. And yeah. Or maybe I threw them. You just need to talk about black people in a <laughs> positive light. And they just landed up here. That's a good throw. <laughs> I know. Dude, neuter him. Dude, I did. Wait, yeah. is this part... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Circumcise me now. It should have happened eight days after you were born. We'll do it now. Okay. You are now being a Christian boy. So they released a game that I've been looking forward to for a while. Is it the circumcision of Isaac? Yes. It's $35. <laughs> With new foreskin physics. Ew. <laughs> um, you anus! God! Um, yeah, they released this game I've been looking forward to for a while. For $35. And it's a um, uh, squad-based game, a squad-based horror game, so it's kind of like Left 4 Dead, only it's much more hardcore. And it doesn't have multiplayer. They released a $35 game without multiplayer. I'm like, what? Why? And, like, I bought it, too, because I was dumb. I didn't read about it or anything. 
because um, I was really looking forward to it. I'm like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And then I find out you can play multiplayer, but you have to go online. I hate that. You have to like go on Discord or something and like find people who like want to play multiplayer with you. So it's just a chore to get four people to play multiplayer with you. And it's like they released this for thirty-five dollars and they don't even have multiplayer. Like my mind is blown right now. I requested my money back. I and I left a negative review. I'm upset because I was thinking of getting Splatoon two. Yeah. But then I found out you can only do multiplayer online. Uh-huh. And it's like, well, I only play with people on the couch next to me. <laughs> I'm not and also I'm not buying a subscription, even though it's not that expensive to do that. Like I just So that's a big turn off for me. Like Yeah, that's one of the main reasons I got a PC. So I didn't have to buy a subscription. Or yeah. I just, Even though I still have PS4 and Xbox One, <laughs> and I still have my Xbox One subscription. <laughs> oh, you missed, bitch boy. I just don't like paying money, and also I don't care about playing with a bunch of other people unless they're like really sitting next to me. Someone made a comment on the uh, the Halo forums. He's like, people are toxic because they're not talking, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't want to talk. You're too scared. No, because people freak the fuck out sometimes over nothing. Yeah. Like you can get banned. Like, like I told you, you can get banned for leaving casual early. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's part the reason why I don't want to play online. People take it too seriously. I want to play for fun. <laughs> Rocket launcher. That, that was a fail. That was a fail. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Yay! What do you think of Star Wars: The Mandalorian? I haven't seen it. Neither have I. <laughs> it looks really well done it, for it, a series. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like, not just for a series, it, it looks like it is movie quality. And I'm really curious about the Baby Yoda. Everybody calls it a Baby Yoda. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's not Yoda. Uh, yeah, everybody's making a big deal about the Baby Yoda. It'd be delicious. You like green stuff, do you? Yes. I've been. I hoard. I bought all the Shrek Twinkies when the Shrek movies came out. I've been hoarding them. <laughs> First day Walmart was out. <laughs> um, unfortunately, turns out Twinkies don't last forever. Um, but bonus extra green. So, I win. Bridge extended. Crap. Crap. Not ready. Crap. This is weird. Brooke hasn't seen Shrek. Sam hasn't seen Shrek? Yeah. That is weird. Like, that was the anime movie for years. <laughs> yeah. It it's, really it's was. It's still affecting anime movies. <laughs> like, reading my animation books, that's like one of the things they dissect is Shrek. <laughs> Which is so funny because it's like such a meme now. Uh huh. But it, it wasn't a bad movie. It was really good. Yeah. It led on to five more. Whatever happened to Shrek 5, anyways? I don't know. Uh, what was Shrek 5? Shrek up the butt? <laughs> I just remember hearing, oh! Shrek lost his left nut. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my nut! Donkey. Did you eat it, Donkey? Uh, maybe, Shrek. <laughs> I can't go back. I can't go back. Because you're black. Once you're black, you can't go back. <laughs> Let's hear Michael Jackson. Well, then I guess he, he, he never went back. He started off black. Yeah, your racist insult's not funny. Because you're wrong. Yeah. Racism's only funny when it's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey, I need that. Well, you can have back in a little while, Shrek. <laughs> I need help, dude. <laughs> I know there's a big guy that. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a big guy that comes out over here. You know how I know? Just you see him? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good job. Watch, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> I expect him to be the size of the hole. That that would be intense. Kind of twitching. 
He's dead now. Okay. Bitch ass. Look, bitch ass. Look, bitch ass. Thank you. You're welcome. What? It's not over? I have to go through this now? Have you seen that? <laughs> oh. They have a new uh, thing in Shrek where Donkey's turning albino. He's going Michael Jackson, so they, they cast a, a white Eddie Murphy. A white person to play him, so he's like, Shrek! <laughs> Part's hard. Can you give me a Starbucks, please? <laughs> you know what I hate? I hate racism. What's the most number of kids you've known someone to have? Uh, 97. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> um, I told, you um about, I told you about my Coke friend who went to Coca Cola. Yeah. He's got five? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my friend Wes at Safety, he was telling me he had a neighbor in California, he had 12 kids. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, like, were they Mexican? He's all, yeah. Um, well. And then he said, um, uh, he's like, they were from ages infant to six years old. <laughs> infant, I thought you were going to say infinite. <laughs> so we had six little, or, tw excuse me, 12 little kids. I'm like, that sounds horrible. He's all, yeah. He's all, I was losing my mind with two. Wow. Uh -huh. So my question to you is, do you want to have 12 kids? <laughs> no. No, man. I wonder how many I kids want, you can adopt. I want a kid. <laughs> That's a good question. Because I know, like, the adoption process is, like, how am I supposed to shoot you is, like, a pain in the butt. Like, and a lot of people do it. And they go into, like, a lot of checking and stuff like that. So they're not, you know, giving kids to a bad home and stuff. Yeah. So I wonder if they have, like, a limit on how many kids you can adopt. You know, I wonder what the limit is with, like, foreign adoptions, too. Uh, like, no. can I get, like, five U.S. children and then, like, 20 Asian kids? <laughs> 20 Asian girls? Because... <laughs> They, well, they did kill their girls. I don't know if they still do. Because they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> we made a mistake. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Look at this. You can't shoot through the big square holes in the fence. You have to wait. But the ship was able to shoot through your floor. Yeah. Well, yeah, at least I, they're not shooting you. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because they know they can't shoot through the big square holes in the ground. Or in the fence. Whatever. I'm mad now. <laughs> um, ooh, I know who has the most kids. Who? God. Oh, yeah? We're all his children. Until we're not. <laughs> That's a funny thought I just came up with. I wonder at what point China realized they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> we're, we're really screwed up here, guys. Like, one of the officials is, like, in college, he's like, he's like, where's all the girls? I'm supposed to be going crazy. And then he's like, he's like I need to have a son date. to carry on family name. And then he's like, well, we kill all the girls. So... <laughs> No point in having a family name if there's no one else to have it with. One of the teachers in um, uh, high school was telling me Jesus, that um, uh, Jesus? That's good. that um, I, in Japan or China, one of the Asian places, that um, they're more concerned with playing video games and stuff that they're not reproducing. So <laughs> that the population is going to decline in the next 20 or so years. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> that's false. I, that's just what she told me. But yeah, there are some big gaming areas in some of those places. There's a uh, video game rehabs. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my my child is a neat. He never leaves room. He's stinky. <laughs> He's growing feet out of his armpits. <laughs> and apparently, I'm turning Irish. <laughs> <laughs> you must find the bear control to disable the children. <laughs> Wait, we probably end this in case it crashes. Oh. Oh. My pubes feel so better now that they're waxed. No, oh, that's good. You got a little fancy little twirl in them, like a little mustache. You. <laughs> oh. Yo, what, what do you do if you're watching Lord of the Rings? You're like, oh man, I love Lord of the Rings. And then, like, Lego Lass turns to. Lego Lass? <laughs> He turns to the camera. <laughs> 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 Legolas turns to the camera. <laughs>
I didn't expect that to get you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you said like a country person with like a mega accent. You know, my favorite Lord of the Rings character is that Legolas guy. Yeah, at first I thought he was a chick, but it turns out he's just a pretty boy. And I feel a little ashamed. My, my, my wiener reacted a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were saying... So you're watching the Lord of the Rings, you're like, oh man, I'm really enjoying this. And then Legolas turns to the camera and looks straight at you. It's like, Caleb, we need your help. You need to come into the TV to enter our world. There's a prophecy that only you can save us. What do you do? That'd be like one of the creepy pastas I read, so I'd be like, cool. Would you do it? Yeah, absolutely. You would like crawl into your TV? What if, what if you like start crawling into it and then... You're like halfway through it, and then you just stop going through a portal and just fall through your TV and break it. Then I'd be pretty pissed. And then you're like, Dad comes home and like, what the heck, Caleb? Then I'd have to buy a new TV, I guess. Would you tell him why you did it? No. <laughs> Would you uh, worry about your sanity? Your sanity. I always worry about my sanity. I worry about my sanitation. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. Oh. My hands are like splitting like crazy. You should probably see somebody about that. No, yeah, I just need to get more hands. I recommend my urologist. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to think of a name for him, but I couldn't. Handologist. Okay, who put a computer here? Oh wait, never mind. Have you ever thought about the placement of things in video games and <laughs> what the real world app, uh, implications would be? <laughs> No, I haven't. It's a long extension cord, though. Yeah, and like all these realist things. Realist. Sounds discriminatory. Excuse me. Push him! Um. Like. I almost fell. Like the people just standing on a platform waiting for you to come. Is that just their life? It's like you're gonna stand guard. They've been given guard duty, dude. You're gonna stand guard here, 400 miles away from where <laughs> I am. You're just gonna stand on this platform and do nothing except for maybe help a plumber jump over this next little hole. <laughs> like, like the Koopas placed just right for Mario to jump on them. <laughs> if they weren't there, he couldn't make it. I wanna, I wanna like a PlayStation Mario that's super. Like realistic and grown up, as in it's bloody, so it's mature. Like you jump on the Koopas and they're like, ah! <laughs> you hear like their neck snap and there's blood squirting out. Their <laughs> eyes pop out. You slip on them a little bit. It's tense. Imagine. They gave me a chub. <laughs> <laughs> um, the end. That's what the giant uh, things of meat. That you slice into slices is called. What a chub. chub. Yeah. So we had a. Oh. I, told, I told Tyler one day when we were at um, our, our last job, delivering oxygen, I'm like, we want to go to McDonald's and get breakfast. He's like, well, I don't have any money. I'm like, I'll pay for you. He's like, you just gave me a chub. <laughs> what are you talking about? When uh, me and Tyler had our last job and we delivered oxygen together. Yeah. You're not paying attention. Do I have to do the whole story again? No, I. Just... What do you mean by chub? Like a boner. Oh. Okay. Well, that just gave me one. <laughs> okay, so one thing I noticed is we have 20 billion words for inappropriate things. Yeah, we do. It's like, why do we have so many words for, like, butt and stuff? But we don't have, like... If we don't have for good things, why is that? Because nobody likes good things. They're boring. I like good things. Man, what's so exciting about the butts? The booty! <laughs> oh, that, that, that's what I wanted to tell you about Hell's Kitchen. I remember now. Um, I just started season three, and there's this guy in season three. He's like, he, um, you just started season three. Well, I didn't just. I'm on like episode five or something. I don't so know. wait, are you like binging it? Kind of, yeah. I really like. I like the beginning when there's like all the terrible chefs and the Gordon Ramsay's like freaking out on them. Like towards the end, it gets kind of boring because. They actually know how to cook and stuff. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, this guy's actually going to win a restaurant and stuff. But it's fun at the beginning because he's, like, freaking out. 
But, um, anyways, so, <laughs> the guys, first thing he says to the camera, he's like, food is good sex. Good sex makes people happy. That's what my goal with my food is to make people happy. Like, they just had good sex. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually said okay out loud. I don't normally do that. Normally I'll say that stuff in my head, but I actually said I'm um, alright. <laughs> he sounded very intense and passionate about it. He was. Like, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure there's some point... That I've he, never had like, food that made me feel like I just had good sex. I've had good food before. And I've had good sex before, but never food that good. Like, that's a little weird. Isn't that like Food Wars in the anime? I don't know. There's like an anime where people like eat the food and they're like, oh! <laughs> That's the whole show, them just making yeah. sex sounds? Well, and it's like, it's very, like, sexualized. Like, this. I'm about to be very sexualized. Why are there three shotgunners at one moment like, it in looks time? Like, it looks like the girls eat and they're like about to pop out their clothes. They're like, oh! Um. I can't believe I survived with that. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. But, like, I feel like that guy, I'm really sure he's been at a restaurant before and he's had this conversation with his family and they're embarrassed by him. <laughs> it's like, oh, this food's good. He's like, it could have been cooked longer or something like that, or it's been cooked too long. It's like, no, it's not a big deal. No, food is like, <laughs> and he's just going on and you're like, please, Timothy, stop. Please. <laughs> This is a family <laughs> restaurant. Like, how his name's Timothy. They're like, they get done with a movie and they're in a the theater. They just got done watching Frozen 2 and they're trying to decide what to eat for dinner. It's like, oh, let's just get some McDonald's. Like, no, I'm in the mood for some good sex. That means good food. <laughs> and it's like, children are like, what? What's this? <laughs> I like how you make him really aggressive, too. No! <laughs> we're not doing that! Well, he sounds very aggressive with his sexual opinions. Like, he's afraid of somebody thinking him a freak. Because he is. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Good games are sex. Most games have the opposite effect that sex has. Most games make you mad. Sex makes me mad. So I'm about to I think I died out. I think I said it around my mom and my sister, I don't remember. But I thought it'd be kinda of cool to have a series where oh, that was supposed to be loud. <laughs> oh where, fuck. There's a a girl that like takes advantage of boys. Yeah. And then like at the end the boys kill her because they're mad. Okay. I just thought that'd be cool because usually it's like a girl giving revenge, but with boys they're like, "All oh, right, yeah," but it's like that's <laughs> that's not how it always is. So it's like I I thought it'd be like oh for people if they saw like they found out this girl's like had had sex with a bunch of like underage boys and like and at the end they're like just there and they just like bash her head and. <laughs> I have, like, no ammo for anything. Maybe that's why I died. I think that makes people go, wow. You know, <laughs> boys uh, do care about not having sex. I wouldn't go, wow. I'd go, zowie wowie. I wish... I'd go, good food is sex. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't give him good enough food for them to realize that. So I wonder what it's like for him when, like, his mom cooks him a meal and he's just like, oh... oh. Oh, this is so good. It feels so good in the mouth. <laughs> Mom, good job. You booed me really well. <laughs> so, please, God, for the love of God, don't ever say that again. <sighs> okay, that's it. We're done.